This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 Z-axis Brunel Hardness Tester. These hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Brunel Hardness Method via a closed-loop, load-cell-driven control. This replaces the older weight-loaded systems where the testing performance was not as consistent or as accurate as the current load-cell system. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. The maximum workpiece height is 200 millimeters, or just shy of 8 inches. The maximum workpiece depth is 140 millimeters, or just shy of 6 inches. Here we have a digital camera that is used after the indentation is made. This will enable the screen control here to analyze the image from the indentation and give a direct hardness reading. Further, direct manipulation of the image, of memory and reporting, batch testing, can all be done. Here on the front of the machine, you'll find auto Z-axis controls up and down as well as the start button. To begin, press setup. Let's go to the machine and to the main test interface to see some key features of this screen to point out through the main menu. You have Brunel scale parameters. There are 12 to choose from. The 3,000 kilogram load with 10 millimeter ball is the most common. The load dwell time, the Brunel calculator, reference info, unit, and date and time stamp. Taking a test is as simple as affixing your test block on the anvil and pressing the start button. The tester will begin to make an indentation. This can be done from any level of height. However, if time is a factor, you may want to preset the value of the anvil closer to the penetrator. To proceed, the sample can be moved for another point of indentation or brought to the right under the CCD camera for measuring. Make sure all testing parameters are set on the measuring screen, such as force, the indenter, camera, tolerances, load duration time. Keep the indentation area in the red frame of the digital CCD camera. The image of the indentation will then be scanned and displayed on the touch screen controller. If the image is not clear enough, press up or down on the auto Z-axis controller to refocus. A green frame and a circle will first appear. If the results of the indent are clear, then upon measuring, there will be a circle around the indentation. The Brunel hardness will be displayed on the touch screen automatically. The measuring value can be confirmed by clicking Confirm on the screen. As you can see on the screen, you have the option to add hardness conversions. You can label and identify the part, set tolerance limits for go-no-go -no -go reporting, see statistics, handle test reporting, calibrations, and so on. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 900-359 Auto-Z Brunel Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.